Hi, so this demo will show you how you can take your SWF, your animated logos, or any animation that's done in Flash, and put it up onto your portfolio. So we're going to try to do this in as few steps as is necessary. It goes like this. First off, we would like to be able to store this file, your animation, the SWF, on this page somewhere, or somewhere in the web so we can access it later. And I'm going to do that by opening up uh, page settings, and in page settings I'm going to allow attachments because that lets us store files up on the web. And uh, this is my splash page right now. I'll use it as the storage location and down at the bottom if you've opened this thing up you will now have access to add files. If you've always had it, it's good to get rid of this if you don't need it, but in this case I need it. I click, the, click that little button and I can go looking for under my documents in my folder with my flash animation the latest version of my SWF. It's 38 kilobytes, nice and small. And it's up there. Now that it's up there, I'm going to right mouse click on it. And oh, this is going to be a little tricky because you may not see it. And you're not going to be able to see this very well. Let's see if I can get this to work a little better. Ugh. Right mouse click should let you see the words copy link address. Might be something different if you're using Internet Explorer. But copy link address gets a copy of where this lives in the Internet, the URL for it. So far, so good. Next, I'm going to go edit the page and get rid of the old thing that we had up there. I don't need that anymore, and I'm going to add something new. I'm going to insert the SWF using something called a gadget, and in this case, it's found under More Gadgets. Now, under More Gadgets, there's a wide variety of things that could be used, and in the past, we've used Embed Gadget. That worked well. This time, I'm going to go to Public, and I'm going to search for something called Insert Flash because it works pretty well and I'll click the search tool for it. And there's one thing in there and hopefully it stays up there for a while because it's very handy. It's called Insert Flash. I'll click it and I'll select it. And now that I've done that, I'll go to the very top of its settings and up at the very top it has the URL for where the SWF is in the internet. And once again we copied that so if I just delete what was there and paste in the link address that we had just copied before and I also have to get rid of everything that happens after and including the question mark. So all we have up there is just the address of the SWF okay, and HTTPS. The width of this, well I know mine is default so I'm going to get this right. 550 by 400 is the default width and height. So I'll set it into play there. I'll also do the same thing here. 550 by 400 and take a look at these things. I really don't need to have a title on the top that says insert flash, so I'll just say okay. And I'll hit save. And if everything's gone right, that's all it takes to put a flash file onto your internet. Changes have been saved. It takes a little while for it to load up, 48 kilobytes worth. But the animation is now in place. It plays over and over again. Last thing we might want to do is we might want to hide this stuff. We don't want to delete it because we still need to leave that file in place up there. But we can hide it again by going more page settings. Also notice you can hit the U key to do this and turn off allow attachments. And it's a cosmetic thing, but it's nice to leave these pages as clean as possible so you don't see a bunch of nonsense. That's it. Your animation is now in place.